God, this sucks. You gotta start all over. Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Slobland Flicks. I'm your host, Kyle Garon, and this video is called The Sterilization. Uh, basically, this entire video was shot on one single spot over the course of about six years, I would say. It was really on fire. Um, I named this video Sterilization because I think that's what happened to this spot. I just, I don't know if I did it myself, but I know personally me and my boat partners caught a lot of big fish in this area and uh, the unfortunate fact of the matter is that over time big fish are gonna get smart to it and they're not gonna show up there anymore and I think that's exactly what happened um, I, I thought I would never release this footage to be honest with you but over the last three years I feel like I've almost ruined trips because I put so much emphasis on fishing this spot during key times of the day that I took away from finding and, and fishing other areas that could possibly have turned into the best spot in the world, which is what we had tagged this area. We're just like, every time we would show up, like, let's go directly to the best spot in the world. Moon set, let's go to the best spot in the world. Moon rise, let's go to the best spot in the world. And for a long time that worked. But like I said, over the last few seasons, I've, this it, it just got sterilized, unfortunately. And I, if it was, just me I don't know I think and I know other people fish this area but I'm not sure that anyone had quite the success that we had and to those guys that uh, do and know this area and do fish it I apologize for showing this footage because there's no hiding it like there's no hiding the background it's just it's not possible so I apologize but I think it's gonna benefit us all in that it's going to give us like I said more time to go find another best spot in the world um, it's just an unfortunate thing that happens and it's it's hard not to do as a as a musky fisherman especially when you're on a trip and you want to have a successful trip you know go somewhere where you, where you know you're going to score uh, but yeah like I said over the last three seasons I, I think I took away from from myself and my boat partners by spending too much time here so that said I'm you know it's no more it's no longer on my hit list like I've, I've completely given up on it I haven't caught a big fish there in three seasons at least and I don't think I've caught a fish there in at least one or two seasons last season for sure I didn't catch one there the season before I think we got one maybe two nothing of quality so and uh, yeah it's just food for thought it happens especially in this day and age like I see a lot of new fishermen especially on my home water that'll fish one area for the entire day like I don't to me, that's not true musky fishing. It's the best part about musky fishing is evolving and finding new areas and learning new stuff. So I'm not too keen on that, but it is what it is and to each their own. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is for those people that don't know this area and want to go look for it, be my guest because you can find it pretty easily if, if you know this body of water. Um, I just don't think it's worth your time and uh, you're just too late <laughs> like you're too late you missed the boat so go ahead if you want but I think you're gonna be wasting your own time and I would have never put this footage out if I didn't think that was a fact because you know we had I had some great success here I, I could have put out two video two hour to have videos I just grabbed you know some of the better footage that I had so that said think about it think about how hard you want to hit areas that are good and how hard you want to learn and and move forward as a musky fisherman other than that i hope you enjoy the video uh, i really enjoyed making it and i think it's a i think it's a winner we'll see you in a bit
jumped right there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gone. I didn't feel like I had a really good I mean, they just hit. There's only one, the one hook in the side of his head. That might be the biggest fish I ever got on my bucktail. I actually tied that one too. Fuck okay. yeah. Fucking sweet. I'm gonna reset these. <laughs>
Good start, buddy. <laughs> How fucking powerful are those fish? Oh my god. My arm's fucking sore. Big danger, baby. Welcome back. Um, I just wanted to set up this next scene for you because it's vintage Michel Cardinal, aka Mike Ross. Uh, basically, you'll see, and you'll see in a, a lot of these videos, um, I'm exhausted when we're fishing this spot because usually it's the first spot we hit. Like when I show up with Mike Ross after driving five and a half hours, we just unload our stuff into the hotel and then rip down to the boat launch and without even talking to each other, we just get our gear ready and I go directly to the best spot in the world instantly. So that's what happened here. Uh, I'm exhausted. Mike Ross, probably completely miserable in the beginning, but as you'll see, it's uh, his day turns around pretty quick. And I, I think this is one of the, one of the better scenes in the, in the video. So check it out and I'll see you in a bit. They don't eat that shit. You got him. Don't horse it. <laughs> me undies, me undies. <laughs> That's a 53, 54 incher all day, all fucking day, bud. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. This spot's okay. <laughs> that we were like that's as deep this way as we've got a good one. That's a fucking giant, buddy. Giant. Oh, that's why you need a GoPro. 
gigantic fucking fish, dude. Oh. Same fucking spot. I know. I remember that part. don't even know like I'm almost stunned that that just happened I'm not I'm fucking amazing <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm honestly I feel like I'm in outer space right now <laughs> oh the adrenaline mixed with it It's the only thing about this mesh, eh? Oh my god. Come here. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Blind, blind too. But right there, 53 and a half. Sweet, let's just hold it up here. You said there's one, did it already eat?
Oh yeah, way inside this time. Now I'm too shallow. feel oh my god I guess I better throw a box <laughs> third pass oh We need a third pass. Long, it looked long. Goddamn workout, net in the fucking thing. Same thing. Oh, 
unfortunately, buddy, I, I think I have to throw tails. It's just like, it'd be stupid not to. <laughs> 60 liters probably gonna cost me a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. I thought you set the hook. I know. Those go wide. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <sighs> Just come up, take advantage. Controlling on the gun. Oh, well, she's got it. Nice. Fucking finally. <laughs> oh. Virgil. Oh, let me shake it. I don't think it's fifty inches. Close. <laughs> Double fucking twelves. Wicked, wicked fucking hit. Nah. Uh. 48. Yeah, no yeah, oh shit. What are we here for? That was about 40 ish. Uh, bigger than that. Bigger. I just had one come up on the lead. Probably like 48. Oh, no, not that one. That was oh, fucking. That was a sick fucking hit. Holy shit. Both sides.
take the hooks off the side. Ridiculous. <laughs> now shut the fuck up, please. Uh, done now. Be happy. No, but I'm sorry. God damn, what is with this fucking spot? I don't know. But it is whatever. on fire. <laughs> you can't fucking say anything. I'm fucking... I was all nervous with that fucking net job too. But I just put the I just put the bag in first. Oh, fuck me! What a fucking trip! What a fucking trip! Oh, another beauty! <laughs> Another whale, yeah, baby. <laughs> right here. Do 
yellow-bellied whore. Now that is a gold digging whore.
other way. Flip her the other way. My hands in the gills. No way! 50 incher! Wow! 50 incher! Jesus Christ! It's a heavy 50 incher. Holy shit! It's pretty goddamn deceiving. Nutter head looked a little small, eh? Fuck, it's tough to handle these things in this fucking current, eh? I can't. That is one heavy 50 incher. That's like a 37 pound 50 incher. Retarded. So retarded. That fight, I can't, I can't get over it. I thought for sure, I fought that sturgeon a couple years ago, and it felt like that. Good thing, I, good thing I turned around, eh? Came back to that spot again. Right on the point, right where the bridge, right, right where it should be at. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in one last time and uh, just talk about how hard these fish fight. Like I, you saw in that last scene, I, I honest to God thought I snagged a sturgeon. Like I literally wasn't moving my rod at all. I thought something swam by and I snagged it in the head. I, I don't know, it was, it was insane. Like these fish fight so damn hard and even when you net them, they fight in the net. You pick them up and they're fighting you the whole time. So they're hard to release. It's just it's just the nature of the beast when you're fishing this water in the summer. Like there, there's no musky on the planet that fights as hard as these fish. It's hands, there's nothing. They're hands down the strongest fish in the world. Um, so that said, I just, you know, I just want to make it clear that we're doing our best to keep these fish alive. Uh, you know they always take off slow they always kind of float around the boat for a while but we we watch them until they take off and hang around for a bit and make sure they don't pop up like i don't think well i know i haven't killed a single fish out there knowingly maybe you know over time a few have died but that's you know that's musky fishing it, it's gonna happen all you can do is try your best and i just wanted to make a point that we're, we're doing it the best we can to release these fish as quickly as we can and take care of them so that they can live on to be caught another day um so uh that brings us to our last two scenes i hope you enjoyed the video the last one's a banger so keep watching and i'll see you next year on slobland flicks What the fuck kind of music is this? The beast is free to wander. I go, Derek, can we move that barbecue over? And he goes, you bet. You want to just grab it? <laughs> like, yeah, 100%. The problem conversation. Yeah, you want to bring that barbecue? Yeah, you might want to grab it. It's like an ongoing...
Feels good. Watch your rod. Right here, right here, right here. No. <laughs> Not as big as yours, I don't think. Oh, fuck. I was late on the hook set because she hit right when I paused. So I had to reel down and fuck it. Oh, fuck, this spot sucks. Numbers got my number. <laughs> fucking hot as fucking balls in a fucking deep fryer.
Let's get another fucker. You try in purple. What else do you want to try? I would try a detonator. A black one. Alright. I don't know. I like the gold one though. Huh? When in doubt, go black. When in doubt, go black. I like brown. I'll go black later. I got five bucks on that later, so. Feel the inside, so. Try and spin them right now. 
Yes, yes. Dude, I was just popping it because I was I wasn't even reeling it. I was doing this because I was over top of your line. Yeah. And it fucking smoked it. It was going like a like a bass. things that are out in my life. I think that's if it, if it was over 56 and a half, that was my longest fish ever. I saw 50 in the net. I saw it was past 55, one notch. Like 100%, it was it was there. Yeah. So that's 56. It was there 100%. Bottom job. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine.
Oh, buddy! Thank you, buddy! Holy shit! Oh my lord. So big it's fucking stupid. That is a stupid fucking big fish. Oh, oh my god, did you see that jump? Must have right in front of your face. Turned around and they right beside the boat. We're no th there's a weed line there, eh? Dude, they don't get much bigger than that. Anywhere. That one's out. Yeah, but fucking leaders. Holy shit. I don't think she was coming off. Where? Fuck down there. Here, I'll get spreader. Spreader. In the fucking Can you get her upright? Try to. What a fucking beautiful specimen though. Yeah, keep her sitting like that. She might live. Wow. Fuck it. Can you get her tail? That's a quick one. It could be. You wanna get the cradle out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick her up, take, get your phone out, get a couple photos. Um, wet that wet that cradle and put it behind me on the something we can here. Alright. Best trip of my life. Absolute. Probably one of the biggest fish of my life. Oh, holy fuck, that ain't 45 pounds. I don't know what is. Oh, that is. I'm not close to it anyway. Dude, it's a 56, it's almost 57 for fuck's sake. Actually, no, you might be gone right now. Pull it back. She's stepping up. Right there. Oh, 
until she fucking lives. What do you do? She's got some life. For sure. Who's going there? She's hurting. Yeah. Oh, oh. You want to chase her? Yeah. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> One of the best things that ever happened in my life. I think that's if it, if it was over 56 and a half, that was my longest fish ever.